Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the Book of Clarence. And this is from writer-director James Samuel, who did The Harder They Fall. And this particular film is an interesting look at the other people all caught up in the time of Jesus Christ in Jerusalem. And we have the struggle of Clarence, who we get introduced in a fun chariot race with some slick action, exciting moments, and camera work and everything, as he is a con man, he is a criminal, and he's in love with a woman and owes her brother money, and he finds out new ways along with his crew to be able to make money, including becoming a false messiah in the age of Jesus. And what does that get him? And this particular film is so interesting because it's such a beautiful love letter to Ben-Hur, the Ten Commandments, and historical epics like that from the title cards to the a lot of the music incorporated by Samuel himself, who's the composer of the film. There's so much love and care for that era of filmmaking, but Samuel never once loses his voice in this film. It's this beautiful melding of these two ideas, these two perspectives, and this unique black voice always seeping through, whether it's musical cues, whether it's dialogue, using black vernacular to add authenticity to his characters in this of like authenticity of modern black experience into this historical epic and at the core of it Lakeith Stanfield is absolutely incredible his performance is off the charts he is one of the best working actors today and he has a bit of a dual performance here as he plays both Clarence and his brother who's one of the apostles but here Stanfield just is put through the ringer. He is so charismatic and charming when he's conning people. He has a lot of emotion when he's trying to connect and engage and fall in love with Anna Diop's character. There's just so much working there in his performance all the way up to a horrifically painful to watch third act where Lakeith Stanfield just leaves it all out there. He has a fun crew with the likes of R.J. Seiler and Omar Sy, who he picks up along the way, and both of those characters are so much fun. Sy, in particular, was one of my favorite characters in this film, this gladiator that he connects with on one of his side quests to try to prove himself. And this cast has so much depth and incredible performances, whether it's Alfre Woodard as Mary, uh, David Oyelowo, who has an amazing scene as John the Baptist, this baptismal scene with Lakeith Stanfield and R.J. Seiler, and just so many others, even some of the antagonistic performances, but specifically as well, Nicholas Pinnock, who plays Jesus, has so much heart and soul into his performance, and there's just an air that he carries about himself and you even have great antagonists from Tom, Tom Vaughn Lawler who was Ebony Maul in uh, The Avengers and James McAvoy who gets a few scenes where he really gets the shine here you even have Benedict Cumberbatch who honestly his character along with a couple other threads were felt like a little bridge too far with the film trying to tackle too many things but what was so impressive about this film outside of you know the music Rob Hardy's cinematography, just the look of it, the feel of it, the attitude about it, the atmosphere, is the themes. Not only is this a really biting, fun satire, not only is it a great homage to historical epics, this is one of the best faith-based films that I've seen in a long time. It doesn't shirk the character work, it doesn't shirk the story, it brings those layers and the production design behind it, and then still finds the time to be inspiring and thought-provoking in the ways that it tackles faith. It isn't preachy, it isn't trying to beat you over the head with it and just be a propaganda machine. It's something that challenges you to really think upon faith and your experiences with it, 
And it's something that's so effective and interesting that you just really want to ponder and think about this perspective. And the journey that Clarence goes on is one of the most interesting journeys I've seen a character go on in a film recently. This really hit a lot of beats for me. And if it weren't for like some hanging threads that felt a little too... Act, uh, like added on into elements, a lot of which for laughs or for shock value, this film really works. And there's so many layers to it. There's so much emotion. This is a, such a raw and authentic voice put into motion in film. That is such a great experience, and I can't wait to see more of what Samuel has up his sleeve. But those are my thoughts on The Book of Clarence. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.